what would you say are the positive aspects then of having autism? Because everyone always focuses on, oh, uh, you've got autism, what sure. are the negatives? Yeah. Um, I'd say a positive is probably knowing myself best, better than anyone else knows me. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people struggle with like their identity and who they are in the world, whereas I've known what I do and don't like for a long time. It's like I, I, I don't like a lot of sensory things. I know when something's too loud and I'm going to cover my ears and I know when I don't like a texture. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's also great for like people who are on the spectrum and in the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, because people that they're able to know uh, what they like and what they don't like very quickly. Uh, uh, if a person on spectrum was trans, they could probably identify. I'm comfortable with this, but not this. So that's just how I identify. It's uh -huh, and your autism actually helps you with that and yeah. makes you more certain of yourself um, in that respect. Mm. What about your pet peeves about autism then? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say a, 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 gen, a definite pet peeve would be uh, having meltdowns um, uh -huh. because people uh, are, are going to judge me whether or not I have one um, and, and it can be set off by the most stupid things and it can often be like a snowball effect. Uh -huh. I think a lot of people don't understand that. They think that a meltdown is just me overreacting to something. Overreacting or trying to avoid a task yeah, or something whereas like that. Actually, it's usually um, it's been a snowball effect of other things that have happened. So, like, say, I was wanting, say, I planned a, a day ahead and I wanted to bake a cake. So, I decided to get the bus to go to the shops, but the bus was late. So, mm -hmm. I Panic, decide to walk, get to the shops. The ingredient I need isn't there. Panic a bit more, get home, and the cake doesn't turn out how I want it to turn out. And then I melt down just because it's snowballed all the way, all the way through. It, it, yeah, it depends. It's one of the most frustrating realizations I've come to is that the only thing that's ever definite in life is things will change. Absolutely. And, and that's not great cool for me, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's not like every day is painfully uh, so, sore to get through, but mm -hmm. it, it it can be makes me anxious about yeah. day. Um, final pet peeve is uh, I'll, with a lot of like autistic characters in media. Mm -hmm. Um, let's say they're being bullied or something, uh, people are laughing at them. Uh, for some reason, people think that if someone's laughing at me, I'm not going to be able to tell if they're laughing at me or laughing with me. It's more a case of, I know they're laughing at me, I just don't know why. Uh -huh. So when people are uh, taking a mic, for instance, they might be thinking you don't know that they are, and you yeah. often do know exactly yeah. what they're doing. Um, so that's something to be aware of. So, Pet peeves, that was but good. Those are just things that bother <laughs> me. It'll, it'll change for other people. Yeah, it'll be, not, it'll be different for different people.